in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we lift up to God the soul of Rodney Jordan, as requested by Joe Borges. We begin by an acknowledgement of our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words. I've done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, have mercy. Lord. <coughs> Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in an ending love. Through Christ our Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and, filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison and let them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area, and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison, and so they came back and reported we found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors, but when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what would, this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry of the poor. Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall always be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry, cry of, of the, the poor. poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, that your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The, the Lord, Lord hears the, the cry, cry of, of the, the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry, cry of, of the poor. poor. The, 
。阿肋路亚。God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God, and this is the verdict: that the light came into the world, but people people preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light, and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen, as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. It's a beautiful gospel passage today. This episode when. John, the gospel writer, proclaims the fact about the Son of God sent to us out of God's love, the Father's love, pure love. But He becomes for us the source of salvation. Salvation. Do we grasp that? Do we understand that? Do we bask in that? Meditate on it, and live it. We see in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles the result of living in such a, a mentality, comfort of God's love, when the apostles overcame and were ready to、uh, overcome any difficulty in regards to the preaching of the gospel. They were put in jail every so often. But in today's episode, in the Acts, in the first reading, there an angel freed them that very night, and they did return to, again, to the public area where they can continue what they've been doing. There was no fear in them; there was so much confidence, and that confidence is from the truth, the truth, and the reality that Jesus is risen. Nothing more. This Jesus brings forth salvation, life, healing to a world that is suffering, a world that is in pain, a world that is divided by the forces of the good and evil. As we meditate once more on the gospel reading today, God sending His Son out of pure love, it is not out of spite or judgment or hate. It is simply out of love, and if we reflect more on that, then that love overflows, makes us joyful, makes us thankful, and makes us reach out tirelessly, endlessly, to share the truth that Jesus is indeed risen. He is our hope. He is our salvation. Amen. Amen. Our prayers of the faithful. We now turn our hearts and minds to the Lord, and bring our prayers and petitions before Him, trusting in His divine mercy. For the Church throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit continue to empower her in her witness to the truth of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For world leaders, may the Spirit guide them in enacting policy that protects life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle with loneliness and isolation, may the Lord lift up their hearts and bring them comfort and companionship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all families in this faith community, may the Lord bless them with unity, joy, love, and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the faithful departed, May God welcome them joyfully to his eternal banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all our special intentions held in the silence of our heart, both spoken and unspoken. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear, O Lord, our prayers and petitions, and answer them, we pray, in accordance with your divine will. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness. We have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask to the Son, Son, be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you, the humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquities, Lord, cleanse me. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, our loving Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven, pure glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> and you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Rodney Jordan, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Faustina, our patroness, and all the saints who he have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us now offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace of Christ. Peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. And before I give you the blessing, please be reminded of our gift shop. It's open again for sales on items for first communion and confirmation and the lord be with you <clears throat> and may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit Amen. go in peace glorifying the lord with your life Amen. thanks be to god O sacrament most holy O sacrament divine Have a blessed day, everyone. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Go make a difference. We can.